Back this morning, crews at local golf courses will be doing something they're not used to this time of year, maintenance. They say the warm temps are drawing more golfers to the courses. News 13's Sarah Yingling went for a golf cart ride to see what it takes to keep those greens green. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Fernando. Well, yards across the metro are typically turning a shade of yellow right now. But right here behind me, the turf looks more like a nice spring day. And with all this warm winter weather, you might think it would cost more to maintain this, but it's actually saving them money. Have a good round. Thanks for playing. For Adam Royball, general manager of UNM's championship golf course, the work starts early. Driving around, making sure the course is in tip top shape, and getting golfers checked in. How are you? Well, how about you? Good. Walking today, riding? Riding. For David Gorman, along with the dozens of other golfers out here teeing off, it's just another chance to get in another round of golf. It's nice to be able to play in shirt sleeves and not have gloves on and all that. But it's in the middle of January. Roy Ball says not only are they seeing more golfers compared to last year at this time, they're seeing them more frequently. The weather's allowing them to, to plan for that rather than seeing some of the temperatures so low that they don't even make golf as some of their priorities. That means for Roy Ball and the maintenance crew, the work doesn't stop. There are grasses that are growing that still have to be maintained. Um, chemicals have to be applied to it. And since we just left fall, Royball says there's also more maintenance in terms of the leaves and pine needles that need to be swept off rather than mowed. They must also water it more often because of these warmer temperatures. Fortunately for them, all of their hard work isn't going unnoticed. Adam and Paul have done a great job of getting the course in shape and making it wonderfully playable this time of year. Roy Ball says that all this extra work that is being done right now actually means a healthier turf by the time spring rolls around. Back to you. All right, thank you, Sarah. Roy Ball says because of those unseasonably warm temps, they haven't actually had to employ more maintenance people, which means their maintenance costs are actually down as a result. It's been such an unusual year. Yeah, we, I mean, if you can't beat it, might as well join it, right?